1st of July. 4 a.m. at first light in the Liverpool sky, the star sailed up the Mersey, bound for St. John's in the country, an ocean away. There were cooks, there were peers, from country and town, from villages taken from their families, torn from this land they call home, for most of their lives. Sentenced that summer's day, not soldiers, not heroes, they never fought anyone. Not soldiers, not heroes, just fathers and sons. They were herded like cattle, hounded like thieves, leaving children to mourn and widows to grieve. With no crime committed, no charges to face. They were tried, judged, convicted, and damned. Gerald DiMarco, son of this land, who fought for our freedom, could not understand why the father was exiled and died on that ship. And the son took our guns in his hand. Not soldiers, not heroes, they never fought anyone. Not soldiers, not heroes, just fathers and sons. At a time to me, one last torpedo, one last shot to take, then it's home to the fatherland, free from their fear, home to their children and wives. Two months at sea in a rusty steel cell, death always near in their own living hell. The shears rang out, and the shot at its mark, one shot to gain 800 lives. Not soldiers, not heroes, they never fought anyone. Not soldiers, not heroes, just fathers and sons. Corpses were scattered by wind and by gale. Secrets the ocean could never reveal. One hundred dead bodies in the sea of Inchkeen, washed up on Ireland's green shore. Some laid to rest where the sea's mighty roar, on an island engulfed in the horror of war, and their souls were made well. Rest in peace. No judgments were made in that day. Not soldiers, not heroes, they never fought anyone. Not soldiers, not heroes, just fathers and sons. Soldiers, not heroes, just fathers and sons.